how to initiate the money talk if you're just starting a serious relationship or you're about to get married. So, so mm. number one is ask your partner how they handle their finances before you. Before you got together, what were you doing? Mm -hmm. How are you handling your finances? Okay. Well, you know, I was living paycheck to paycheck. I was broke. I wasn't worried about it. Um, I would ask one more question even before that. that. I would ask, how much debt do you have? Okay. That'd be my number one. I'd be like, I love you. But how much debt do you have? <laughs> Just straight up. <laughs> yeah. I think that, that's a big, big question. People get married and they don't realize they're marrying how much debt this person you has. You have to. So one of my Ooh. buddies was dating a girl for a while and he was really into her, but they were having some issues. And he goes, yeah, and she also graduated uh, college. She's got a hundred grand in debt. <gasps> And uh, her major is not exactly a sought-after major. I go, bruh. Run. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I like the girl too, player. But, you know, what's mine is yours. What's yours is mine. All that. I'm like, you're debt-free. Now you're about to accumulate 100. I'm like, you better love the fuck out of this girl. He goes, no, I like her. I'm no, like, no, keep no. it moving, player. <laughs> but that's a serious thing. Yeah. That's to have huge. that conversation before you get together. Mm -hmm. um, because if they're ramping up credit card debt and student loan debt and have basically foreclosed homes and Ugh. defaulting on their payments and then they bring it to your relationship it's like no good now her problems are your problems yeah. and ladies you too make sure you ask the gentleman you know what their financials you know places too debt included yeah cause... well here's the next part you know they say uh show don't tell the next advice is open up the books and show each other your financial information Oh. So it's like, no, I have no debt. I, I'm good. I haven't done anything wrong. I'm, I'm good. Like, you know, and then you come to find out that they're that girl with a hundred grand of debt. You're like, holy, Yikes. how would I ever know? So, and then, um, so pull your credit up, pull your credit pull up, it up now. buddy, <laughs> pull it up. Shout out to TransUnion for sponsoring this episode. <laughs> uh, and then you're going to figure out who's going to basically be handling your certain financial uh, money matters that you need to handle. All right, cool. I got rent. You're going to take care of the car payments or I got rent. I'll take care of everything. You're buying the groceries. You're doing the utilities. Just have that conversation. You know, when I was living with an ex at one point, mm -hmm. I, I was kind of sick of, uh, you know, there's the whole concept of like the man pays for everything. The man's the provider. Right. You know, we weren't married, right? We were together. We were engaged. But I was kind of sick of doing everything. Mm -hmm. And I was like, look, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to pay all the big bills. Whatever a big bill is, mm -hmm. you're going to take care of all the small bills. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I took care of rent. I took care of car payments. Mm. All right. Those are the biggest right, things. Right, right. You're going to take care of groceries. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to take care of utilities. A hundred bucks a month. Yeah. But, you know, there's no such thing as a free ride. So now, granted, if this is my wife and we're together and we're combining finances, it's a whole nother conversation. Mm -hmm. But... There's no right or wrong way to do it. You need to have that conversation. Right. So that's my advice for you. So that's if you're just really starting out a serious relationship or you're about to get married, figure out that balance. But now when you're married, you've been married for a couple of years, you're doing your thing, here's what they recommend. So number one, you need to review the household budget and have an estate plan in place. Mm. God forbid something happens. What are we gonna do here? Do we have life insurance? Are we having kids? What's going on with the budget? You're identifying, as we do with the SLS every year, you're identifying opportunities where we can maximize our budget, where, we, where are there are leaks in our budget, how are we losing money? You really hone in on what's going on there. Mm -hmm. Number two, uh, are we merging accounts or not? Like, are we mm. doing joint accounts? Like, a lot of people will have joint accounts, but then each, the husband has a separate account, the wife has their separate account. You know, I tell the story about... Um, the wife who, have, who had access to the husband's account and he got her, oh, yeah. she got him a birthday present and he got her like a $10,000 watch. And I was like, sick watch, bro. Yeah. Like, that's so nice of her. It's like, <laughs> yeah, she just took it out of my account. Like, it's our like sick present. So like, it wasn't really coming out of her. Right. So these are conversations that you need to have with your significant other. Mm -hmm. Joey, I sure I assume you're having these conversations now more than ever that you're recently married. All the time. All the time. Nice. Uh, so you got to figure out how you're going to do that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, obviously outline your shared expenses. All right, I got this. You got that. I'm doing this. We're doing that. And then how much we're going to contribute to each of them. Like I just broke down. I'll take care of the big stuff. 
you take care of the small stuff. To be honest with you, I'm fine with taking care of the small stuff. I just don't want to worry about, all right, I got a $120 utility bill. Right. All right, I got to go grocery shopping. We need more uh, toilet paper, whatever it is. Yeah. It's like, just handle that, baby. Yeah. I'll pay the five grand a month for the rent, whatever it is. You know, I'll make the car payments, handle the small stuff. Yeah. Now, here's where you know you got yourself a good one. If she's like, sounds great, babe. I got you. All right, cool. I could do that. No mm -hmm. problem. I'll manage it. How can I help? Versus what I had, why do I need to pay for utilities? Oh. Why do I need to do pay for the groceries? Because you use the You light, make way bitch. more money than me. It's like, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's like you want the lights off? You want no food in the house, woman? <laughs> That's why she got kicked to the curb. Yikes. But yeah, they said you escaped. Important to figure that out before you get married and all that. Agreed. All right, and now this is really advice for your parents out there. For older couples that have been married for years and years and years, you need to get on the same page with basically your financial future, i.e. life insurance, estate plans, trust, wills, what's going to happen. So this is some of the stuff that I'm dealing with my mom now. So my stepfather, very unhealthy guy. Mm. I'm dealing with Medicaid, with Medicare. Right. These are conversations like my mom is basically, now that she's 70 plus, it's called RMDs, Required Minimum, minimum distribution. Distributions. You know about I that? I know, I know. Not as delusional not, as you thought, y'all. I'm smart. So these are the things that we're dealing with. So she has to start withdrawing her money from 401k. Mm -hmm. and, and you might be doing all right, but now you got to start looking after your aging parents. Yeah. This is the reality of where we're at. We're in our 30s and 40s now or 20s, but I'm just saying, as we get older, our parents are getting older, these are some of the difficult conversations you're gonna have. So you might say, dude, I'm, six, I'm, I'm 24 years old, what do I give a shit what, about a 60 year old? Mm. It's like, well, you have parents, you have grandparents, you might need to help out with that. Yeah. Um, and then obviously, last but not least, you might need to speak with a financial professional to get yourself a plan, whether it's a life insurance agent, yeah. whether that's an attorney, whether that's a CPA, we all know that if you're getting married, you know, Prenup, hold up, holla, we want prenup, all that and then some. Speak with a trusted professional or even a fiduciary, mm -hmm. not a fiduciary bag. That's what I like to say. <laughs> so those are some of the things that you should do mm -hmm. to initiate the money talk in your relationship. Cha-ching. Cha-ching. Okay. So if you like that clip, click right here to watch another. Or if you want to watch the entire Sauzcast, click right here.